here we are. We are about to leave, actually, the Influencer Conference 2010, first day, wrapping up the last panel. And I'm sitting here with a beautiful woman named Hallie, who is very talented and highly spoken of. My last interviewer, we actually spoke highly of you. And so, Aww. yeah, very highly. And so, I'm going to ask you to introduce yourself and tell us why you're here, what brought you to the Influencer Conference. Sure. Um, so my name is Hallie, and I don't know why they invited me, but I, I had a great time, and I, I loved everyone on the panel. It was really fun. Um, and basically talking about uh, the, our panel is about influencers, um, and I don't think I would consider myself an influencer, but I certainly uh, love being involved in the dialogue, uh, especially anything around social entrepreneurship, healthy living, technology. I have fun being involved and engaged in those conversations. Um, so I think that's how how uh, they found you found me. I don't know. Okay, well we're gonna get a little more specific then yeah. because you are an influencer. That's for sure. You do a lot, and if you can just kind of take us through some of the things that you've done. Let's say in the past two to three years, where you've been, what what you um, because you've done great things and like how that has helped to define your world and help other people define theirs. Sure. Yeah. Um, so I haven't I haven't taken a, a traditional route for business school students. I'm in business school now, and many of my classmates um, got there because they you know they took very predicted routes of consulting and banking. And I feel really fortunate to be there because they took me on a whim. I think, and, uh, and I, I didn't hold down a corporate job. I dabbled in a couple of things, and I was a product manager for a couple of startups, and all socially oriented. And I I love technology. I had a lot of fun time, uh, a really fun time kind of working on products and imagining how users are going to engage in products. So that was kind of part of my life. And then um, I also am really passionate about health and healthy living and enabling people and giving them the tools to live healthier lives. And so I also worked on, uh, for the past five years, this, I guess start, not startup, but non-profit, kind of grassroots non-profit. called No, I, I didn't start Kiva. Okay. I wish I started <laughs> Kiva. No. Um, much smaller, very grassroots. Um, Called, called Yoga Bear, and we do yoga for the cancer community. Oh, and we work in hospitals, uh, a few hospitals here in New York, but we also have partner studios that offer free classes to people that have uh, gone through cancer treatments. And yoga is a great way for anyone to really find inner peace and relaxation, especially for anyone who's gone through the, the treatments of cancer and are dealing with the symptoms, uh, the post-treatment symptoms. So, and we also do a lot online, you know, videos and forums and and conversations and stuff. So I kind of bundled all this up into a story and applied to business school because I really wanted to figure out a way to bring those two things together right. and figure out how we can use uh, how we can use technology, either mobile or consumer internet. Those are just two spaces of technology that I love, um, and and bring that into the health world and think about how and, and not necessarily like deep health when we're talking about pharma and biotech, like very simple tools to help us make better decisions uh, and track our, our health and get better information. So that's, so that's where I'm right now and I'm kind of using business school as a way to A, kind of get some business fundamentals because I believe that there's uh, there's certainly a value in understanding these strategies to help, yeah, to, to make, uh, you know, to make us build a sustainable business, uh, and it's also a way for me to have a two-year sabbatical to meet people, explore ideas, test out concepts, um, and, and not have the pressure of having to have a job at the same time. So. Which is a great way of putting it. It's a little pressure. Yeah, those jobs don't even exist anymore. <laughs> yeah. Well, what I was surprised. I'm like, I was thinking about people that come to these conferences. I'm like, don't they have jobs? <laughs> like, how do they do this? Like, I mean, I love being able to do this because I'm a student. But like, when I, you know, when I was working a regular job, like, I didn't have access to these types of things. So. Right. Well, you'll eventually start getting paid for this. What happens is that yeah. you, what you have is so valuable, and they'll fly I in. Would, please, yes. I love talking to people. Put you up in a hotel. <laughs> it's like my dream job. I just talk to people all day. That's fun. That's great. So yeah. you, you really are an influence to them, and I, I'm just curious to know how you, I mean, you made a really interesting point on the panel that I just want to bring up really quickly, which is that you're concerned about how the youth are presenting themselves in digital space. And you yourself are young. You're a young woman who's, you know, striking out alone and everything. I mean, do you really think it's it's a it's a big issue that needs to be addressed right now? What is it that's the most troubling about it? Um, so, to be honest, I haven't put too much thought into it, yeah. but when you think about um, the 
the education system and how I mean, systematically broken it is as it is. I mean, we're barely teaching kids to read and write. I don't know how we expect kids to also learn the nuances of social media and the etiquette there. And I think that, I, I don't know, because I you know I don't have kids myself, but I imagine that there are a lot of kids making decisions that they, they may regret and putting things out there that they can't take back. And someone said, you know, there's not a, there's not an undo on the internet, and that's absolutely right. And, uh, you know, I am concerned, and I, again, I haven't put too much thought into this, but there's certainly a disconnect between what we, the tools we're giving kids and the lessons that come along with that. And I know, like, I have some things that, like, a couple years ago, me and my girlfriends really late at night made this dance video that we thought was, we did like the Soldier Boy dance video in these costumes and thought it was really funny. And it was funny, and it was fun, but I look back at that now as like someone trying to be a professional, and I'm like, ooh, I probably shouldn't have put that out there. Like, I look like a total goofball. Uh, we're like in the middle of the street in San Francisco dancing, and it's, it's, it's a fun video, but it's certainly nothing. If I applied to a job at, you know, like, like a well-known company, they'd probably look at me like I'm crazy. Um, and I certainly think there's very low barrier for what you say and what you put out there. And, and it's really hard for, it was hard for me as a kid to think past what am I doing this weekend and immediate rewards. And you get immediately rewarded to, to post things on the internet. But when you're 16, you're not thinking like, if my name gets tagged to this and it gets copied and sits somewhere and anybody Googles me 10 years down the road, I don't know, I feel like you should. Not a good feeling. Yeah, I feel like there needs, I don't know what needs to happen, but I just, I, I'm, for the future of, of girls that are in high school now, like, I hope they're not doing anything that's going to prevent them from having the amazing careers they deserve. Oh, okay. No, that's a very good so. point. That's a great point. Are you going to come back next year? Because there will be an Influencer Conference 2011. Oh, yeah, of course. Really? And then yeah, I'll show it. We'll have progressed. <laughs> oh, you'll be invited, trust me. Um, we'll have progressed, and you can talk to us about what you've been doing and kind of the state of girls and the online and, and, and privacy oh, and all that great yeah. stuff. But thank you so much for coming to the conference. Thanks for having me. It's been great. Really fun. great. Yeah. I love what you do, and, and I'm inspired by it. So. Thank you. So, Thanks thank for you. having me. It's been really fun. Awesome. Thanks, guys.